How many times have you encountered the situation where you need just to drive the shape keys of the face only but not the entire body which is stuck into the face? Well, not a problem. We can select this, separate it, and then average the normals. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, Thumbs please up, sub consider subscribing into this channel for more news and more videos for a stylized shading. All right, let's get to it. So first of all, let's show the normals and you only do this on edit mode. Then you click here on this button and you lower the value on the show normals length. That way we can manage the view for our character even better. So how many times have we have the character ready to um, continue our work, but we need to separate the shapes, the facial shapes from the body deformations or the body corrective shapes. So in that case, what we need to do obviously is to enter edit mode and then selecting the skull and then we're gonna take it apart. Rather, we're going to separate it by pressing Alt P and then selecting by selection. In this way, we get the face or in this case, the, the head separated from the body. But detaching this um, object will cause us a lot of trouble. The first of noticeable problems is that the average normals have been broken. We don't have a smooth transition between the neck and the face. And it is obvious because we can see it right here the normals are broken, or rather, they stop suddenly uh, at a different angle than the ones that are on the face. So what we want to do here is to, first of all, get those vertex really close from the face to the body. Again, for that, you need to turn on snapping, which is all the way up here, if you can see it, and set, set the selection mode to vertex. In that way, you can move your cursor over to the um, body but you need the cursor really close. If you do not have the uh, vertex really close to the cursor, then you will not get this effect. I don't know why the, it works that way, but it, it just does, okay? So trust me on that one. You need to get those two vertices really, really, really close by using the snap vertex uh, option. So the next thing we need to do is press Alt N and then we're going to get the pop-up for the um, normals uh, workflow that we're going to do. Um, the first thing we need to do is to select the body, enter edit mode, then select one vertex, then Alt N, copy the, the vector, switch to the face on edit mode, select the same align uh, vertex, and then Alt N, paste the vector. So you copy from the body and you paste on the face. It's the same vector that you have uh, there, uh, and you have to really make sure that the vertices that you're selecting, or rather the vertex individual one, the vertex that you're selecting from the body, it's the same and align with the face and then paste that vector as you can see right here. I'm going to accelerate that because that's exactly what I'm doing for each point from the body to the face. In that way, we have already um, made both vertices that were previously separated really close, as much as closely as snapping it, and then copying that vertex normal from the body to the face. And then we get a smooth transition like this. So you can see it right here, all right? It looks amazing. And we have two different separate objects. This technique is very much used everywhere if you're going to make animations because that makes the, the facial movement or the facial vertices uh, for the expressions unique separated from the body. And obviously the corrective shapes from the body, from the body will not affect the facial um, performance from the shapes. All right, so we continue to do the same right here. So copy vertex, I'm sorry, paste vertex. Copy vertex from the body, switch to face, paste, Alt N, okay? Alt N, copy, switch to face, Alt N, paste. And you continue to do it this way until you finally have every other uh, vertices aligned and completed. Isn't this amazing? With this, you now have two separate objects that will average your normals and therefore you will not have any kind of trouble whenever you like this object. See? Like if they were a one single object. Of course you're gonna get some kind of uh, degradations um, in some corners, but hey, it's better than having a straight line 
that will bother us. Okay, um, why haven't I updated the stylized continuing the series shader? Because I've been doing uh, a poll on if you need a personal character, uh, open source character. In that case, the voting was very, very amazing. It's up and um, the voters just voted that obviously we need a personal character to, to create and do the practices on the stylized shading because obviously I cannot do something that is not my intellectual property. I cannot uh, distribute it or, or, uh, or show it as if it, as if it was mine. So therefore, I'm creating this character and I was waiting for many months to show you this surprise, but uh, seeing that people really are interested in the series and the series have been a, a little bit delayed, I wanted to show you the whip on this character. I will be revealing her name later on on, on, the, on the month. Well, actually we're crossing on to the next month, November. But um, I just wanted you to see that I'm doing and creating this complete, fully rigged, uh, fully um, amazing character for you to use. I'm sorry to spoil the, the, the surprise. I, w I really wanted to finish her completely and then release it to the public. But seeing the amazing response that you all guys are having and, and the support that you have been giving to this channel, Thank you so much for your subscriptions. Thank you so much for your bell notifications. Thank you so much for commenting and sharing everything I do on this channel so that you can practice the, 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 with the videos for the shaders, okay? More news about that. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you can stay updated.